Greg Ehrenberg here from Odd Shopper. It's time for yet another MLB slate, which are, you know, every day of the week when we're getting into the middle of the summer months. And soon we're going to have football coming and lots of content coming out for that. So like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. So that way you really make sure to know when all of our content is getting posted on the channel. Also, leave me a comment below and let me know what it is that you guys have action on today. Any baseball bets that you have for today's slate, leave it below in the comment section. Give yourself a chance to win some free stuff and with that in mind shout out to best ball moderate he had a bet on ranger suarez over 17 and a half outs and suarez was awesome yesterday the phillies ended up losing that game one nothing but still ranger suarez seven innings eight strikeouts no runs so he cruised yesterday despite the loss of so best ball moderate you win one free week of our premium betting discord just message me on twitter and i can get you set up with that uh, also quick recap of yesterday's bets Unfortunately, we didn't go undefeated yesterday. Still a profitable day, though. But Monday, undefeated bets. Tuesday, we went undefeated. Wednesday, still profitable. The bets that we had for yesterday's slate would have drew Smiley under five and a half strikeouts. He pitched fairly well, but still, that was a bet that won pretty easily. And then we got lucky on another one, Tyler Molly, under six and a half strikeouts. Who knows how the game would have played out? But Molly got hurt after pitching just two innings. So we had the under cash pretty easily. Those were the two winning bets. The losing bet of the day was over seven runs in the Rockies Cardinals game. I thought we had a pretty good chance for a push because the game was at six total runs in the ninth inning. The Rockies had runners on base in the ninth. And you're just thinking like, all right, let's just get one run here and at least we get the push. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. There's only six total runs scored. So that was our first losing bet of the week. But overall, we've been rolling here and no complaints about a two in one day. So hopefully we're going to have another profitable today day today. And that's going to be starting with my bets that are coming up right now. The first bet of the day that I'm looking at is Andrew Heaney under six and a half strikeouts. And Heaney's been really good this year. So there's nothing I could do to nitpick with his numbers that would make us lean towards the under here because he has made seven starts for the Dodgers. He is a 1.16 ERA, a 2.84 expected ERA. He has clearly been terrific. His strikeout stuff, 32.3%. That would be a career high. It is a little bit of a small sample size. So now the question becomes, why do I like the under on this bet? And it's as simple as this. I think the main reason Heaney has found so much success for the Dodgers is because he's kind of a glorified opener for them. You guys remember a couple years ago when the Rays really popularized openers in baseball games? You'd have this guy, he'd come out, he'd throw an inning or two, and then they'd go to their bullpen really quick. And it's not that Heaney's throwing one or two innings. He's going a little bit deeper into games, but not that deep. His last start against the Kansas City Royals, three innings, five strikeouts. The start before that against the Padres, four and two-thirds innings, three strikeouts. Against the Giants, four innings, seven strikeouts. Against the Nationals, four innings, four strikeouts. So this is kind of the role the Dodgers have him in right now. He's pitching three or four innings. He's pitching really well in those innings. And they're getting him out of the game before there's any chance for damage to happen. So it's hard for me to expect that Heaney's going to amass big strikeout numbers considering what his current role is for the Dodgers. We have only seen him go past five innings once out of the seven starts he's made for the team. And in four consecutive starts, he's pitched less than five innings. And it's just hard to really amass a whole bunch of strikeouts in that limited amount of time on the mound. So, you know, our projections are pretty favorable on Andrew Heaney today, considering the limited pitches he's throwing. We haven't projected for five strikeouts, but the number is six and a half. It's really hard to expect somebody to have seven or more in a matchup against a pretty good offense in the Milwaukee Brewers when you're just not making that many pitches per game. So... Like I said, we have Andrew Heaney project for five strikeouts today. That has the underwinning 74% of the time in our model. So the first bet of the day is going to be Andrew Heaney under six and a half strikeouts. Today's show is sponsored by BetMGM. And if you guys have not taken advantage of the offer ad with BetMGM, now is the time to do it because only a couple days left on this sponsorship. And then we're going to be changing who's sponsoring this video. But here's the deal. If you've not signed up at BetMGM yet, when you sign up either using the promo code OSMLB or just clicking on the link in the description box below, they're going to give you a risk-free bet up to $1,000. So your first bet loses. Let's say there's a money line you really like. You bet $1,000 on it. They're going to refund it with a free bet for $1,000. But it doesn't have to be $1,000. It could be $50. It could be $100. Whatever the number is you're comfortable with, just make sure when you sign up, use that promo code OSMLB or sign up using the link in the description box below because that's what's going to get you that risk-free bet. Other than that, just keep in mind, these are the best offers to take advantage of in sports betting. It's not always the winning bet, but just where can you find any kind of EV and sign up offers at Sportsbook, a great way to take advantage of that. And this is an offer, like I said, only going to be here for a couple more days, then we're changing sponsors. So take advantage of it now.
The next bet I'm looking at, it is over one and a half walks for Lucas Giolito. And it's been a really disappointing season for Giolito. The one positive has been that he still does generate strikeouts. But at least for this particular bet, I'm just looking at the walk numbers. Lucas Giolito is walking 3.41 hitters per nine innings, overall an 8.7% walk rate, up quite a bit from last year where we saw a season ago, Giolito had a 7.2% walk rate this year, 8.7%. So just disappointed across the board. He has a 4.92 ERA, a 4.2 unexpected ERA. For a pitcher that was expected to be in the mix for the Cy Young this year, he just hasn't been that caliber of pitcher. And a lot of it has been because of his lack of command. And hitters are just finding ways that they could lay off the pitches that Giolito is throwing because he's not throwing nearly as many strikes as he did a year ago or in the past. So this was an issue we saw from Giolito when he first broke into the big leagues. He really struggled to get the ball over the plate. And it looked like he had figured it out and it developed into one of the better pitchers in the American League. And then it just started to tail off in a big way this year where the strikes, it's becoming an issue. It's leading to a lot of inconsistencies. And he's a tough matchup today against the Houston Astros. They have a 9.1% walk rate against right-hand pitching. That is the seventh best mark in all of baseball. And by that, I mean they walk the seventh most of any team in baseball against right-hand pitching. And then you look at some of the recent games for Giolito. And sure, his last start, he only had one walk, but that was against the Tigers. That's the worst offense in the league against right-hand pitching. The starts before that, three walks against the Rangers for Giolito, three against the Royals, four against the Rockies. Those aren't exactly potent offenses, and he was walking three or more in all of those. So uh, three of the last four starts, he has hit the over on this mark. The only other start that he's made this year against the Houston Astros, five innings, eight runs, three walks, two homers allowed, only three strikeouts. So Astros did hit Giolito pretty hard the last time I saw him, and they were also getting on base via the walk. And considering all of the runs that Giolito gave up the last time he faced this team, if we're just trying to play a little bit of a narrative into this, a narrative into this and think about maybe a mental aspect, Giolito, I'm sure he hasn't forgotten how much he struggled in that last start against the Astros, and that might cause him to be a little bit more cautious, maybe pitch on the edges and nibble a little bit more in the start than he normally would. So uh, Lucas Giolito, considering how much he struggled with command this year, I'm betting him for over one and a half walks against the Astros today. For my final bet of the day, I've just got the Mets money line, minus 120, and it is as simple as this. Is Jacob DeGrom pitching? Yes. Are the Mets a massive favorite? Not really. Okay, I'm betting the Mets. DeGrom has looked as good as ever this year. I mean, last year he was absurdly good, also got hurt. This year he started the year on the injured list. Just listen to these numbers over the last season and a half now for Jacob DeGrom. Last year, in 15 starts, he had a 1.08 ERA and a 1.53 expected ERA. So far in three starts this year, 1.62 ERA, 1.48 expected ERA. The guy is nearly unhittable, and the fastball velocity has somehow gone up. It's not like a crazy increase, but still, 99.2 is his average fastball velocity this year. And maybe there were some concerns when he was first coming back from the shoulder injury. Would what, what would his velocity look like? Would it be diminished? Would it be thrown with less effort? Uh, that was an, a, a question that got answered fairly quickly because I think it was either the second or third pitch he threw of the entire season. 102 mile per hour fastball on the corner. So when it comes to Jacob DeGrom this year, he has looked as good as ever. He's been as healthy as ever. And just all of the numbers across the board are ridiculous. His strikeout rate, 50%. His walk rate, 1.8%. That's that's cyborg level stuff. Like that's It's something that should not even be possible. He is striking out one out of every hitter he faces, and he's walking one out of 50 hitters he faces. So when it comes to Jacob DeGrom, he's as good as it gets. I don't even think the matchup matters. I get that the Braves have a good offense, but you could put Jacob DeGrom against the 1928 Yankees. You could put Jacob DeGrom against, you know, whatever is the Monstars equivalent from the Space Jam movie, and you could put that game in Coors Field. He's still striking out everybody. So when it comes to DeGrom, I'm betting him today. There's always times where I think we have to be cautious with DeGrom, where let's say if he was pitching in the Mets for like a minus 400 favorite, but that's not the case today. It's a division rivalry game. It's closely lined. So minus 120 odds for the Mets. Well, by the way, I also think of a better offense than the Braves. I'm going to side with that because I have no concerns about DeGrom moving forward. So to recap, my bets for today, trying to keep a hot streak going. Been profitable every single day so far this week, and hopefully that carries on. Hopefully, it would be really cool if we could get a perfect week and just be profitable on every single individual day. So, you know, we're about halfway there and another slate that I feel pretty good about. So recapping those bets, Andrew Heaney under six and a half strikeouts, Lucas Giolito over one and a half walks, and then finally the Mets minus 120 on the money line with Jacob DeGrom on the mound. Those are my favorite bets, but as per usual, let me know in the comment section what it is that you guys are betting, 
and I give away some free stuff to you guys when some of those bets win. Other than that, thank you guys very much for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps us out a whole bunch. We're putting out free content. It takes only a couple seconds on your part to hit those buttons. And other than that, enjoy the games today, guys, and good luck.